Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Taking a look at another Rosecraft Blade. This is the Pocket Monster. And yes, this is another design from Swags, now with Rosecraft Blades. So very cool. Now I tell you what guys, I did bust out the old uh, stand there again because when I did my bar of review, I could not remember the wood that it was made of. Well, it's made of Coco Bolo Heart. And it is made by Chase Snyder, designer, knife designer for Rosecraft Blades as well. So thank you very much, Chase, for filling me in. I was like, oh man, Chase is going to be so bummed that I didn't remember what it was. But it is. It's Coco Bolo Heart. And it's a very, very nice, nice stand. And I told him I would use it in my videos. So I am. So what do we got here? We have three offerings of the Pocket Monster from Rosecraft Blades. Obviously, you got the blue, you got the red, and you have the black. Now the blue, it's a little bit special. He has a nickname. His nickname is Sully. Why? Well, because it kind of reminds Swags of Sully from Monsters, Inc., the movie. Which, I can see that. Absolutely. 100%. Very cool. So I'm going to move that off to the side and we're going to look at it. Now you can see this one does have the stone washed finish. It does have a stone washed finish on it. The blue has a stone wash. The red has a black PVD coat. And the black one also has the black PVD coated blade. I'm going to set these kind of off to the side real quick. They won't leave. They'll just be here kind of as guardians of the table. And we'll, we'll kind of focus on the Sully, just because, well, I kind of focused on the red one last time, so we'll focus on something other than red. But there you go. As you can see, it is designed by Swags. It is RCM002, is the model number, and of course, it definitely is a Rosecraft Blades. So what do you get? You get the blue G10, or red, or black, depending. G10 backspacer, stainless steel liner, stainless steel clip, with that is deep carry, it is reversible, and it has recessed pocket clip screws. Yes, thank you very much. Now you do it, like I said, you've got probably about two thirds open construction there, roughly, just about. With the blue, you do have the nice pop. Well, all of them, you do have a nice kind of pop of contrast color. Uh, Sully, you got the purple. Now here, on the black, you've got a nice pop of orange on it. I like that, nice contrast for sure. And then, of course, the red. This is the one. Yeah, this is the one i kind of been carrying because you do have the red accents on it. But very nice overall. It, it, it's a fun little knife. So what are you going to get? All right. So let's talk about this. What are you going to get with this guy? Overall, you're going to get right about 6.6 .6 inches of overall knife. You're going to get about two and three quarters inches of blade which is going to end up having roughly right about a two inch cutting hedge. Now, you're like, well, two inch cutting hedge, it's not very big. No, you're right. It's not. Um, once you get up in that forward grip, though, this becomes a wicked, wicked utilitarian type knife. Now, I know some people are just big fans of Swag's designs and they're like, man, I got to have me a pocket monster. And I've been hearing that with this design, which that is very, very cool. Now, I, there, she does have another design, the more Malia, that is an, actually an exclusive with RCB. Obviously, we know that that was a collaboration between her and CGRB. Well, they did do a Rosecraft Blades exclusive and very, very nice as well. You guys know the more Malia. But a comment I got with this one is, well, it looks like the more Malia. Well, that makes sense. They're both designed by Swag. So... Uh, you're definitely going to see that design DNA. And it's roughly right about four inches closed. And you're going to have a grip length of, let's see, what do we get here? One, two, three, right about three inches. And that's, see, that's kind of how it fits in my three and three quarter inch hand. Now, it definitely is going to have to zoom back out just a little bit. There you go. Now, it definitely, definitely does lend to be choked up on in that forward finger toil. Absolutely 100%. This is a good grip. Nothing wrong with this grip. But with that forward finger toil, 
that just opens it up for, well, much larger hands, of course, but it just, it opens it up to much, much finer, you know, more controlled work, if you will. Now, we're going to take a look at that blade real quick. If I don't blind you there, you do have a really nice stonewashed finish on it. Absolutely, like I said, very generous forward finger choil. You got that nice swedge. AR RPM 9 is the steel on this one. Of course, there you go. You got swags. Really, really, just a nice little... You, this one ends up being a really, really nice utilitarian blade. You do have some jimping uh, there on the spine. Absolutely, it does really it does help with the grip 100 percent. now let's see here good access really good access to that lock bar thumb studs oh geez did you see that drop front flipper dang it it does drop wow holy cow let's see drop oh yeah drop oh yeah action on all of these are very very good so uh, let's do some size comparisons we didn't do that we'll throw out a couple of size comparisons let's see where's our there's our pm2 obviously the pm2 whoops gonna be a much much larger knife yep much larger knife let's see now the butt out might be pretty close probably a little bit longer yep definitely a little bit longer eep Sorry for the sound effects. Definitely a little bit longer in the blade. And yeah, it's about not quite a half inch longer in the handle as well. We'll get a weight here. Gotta push them out of the way. Let's see. Turn it on. And what do we think? 3.8. Not too bad. 107 grams now this thing carries this little guy carries fantastic yeah we'll leave those up there that deep carry clip definitely got a little bit of a pop going in the pocket but it does have a decent little ramp on it but slides right in that pocket retention on the clip is pretty darn good and that does like i said that does kind of lend to the pop going in the pocket but nothing too major again overall like i said this is a knife that really ends up being a really kind of ut utility utilitarian that's the word come on you can speak i know you can utilitarian style uh blade when you actually choke up on it like i said the r this grip good i mean you can even oh yeah look out for the gas station but once you get up on that forward finger twirl excellent excellent great control yeah that's a fun little knife and it seems like this one's been really really popular I've, a lot of people have been talking about it which that's awesome it's awesome to see swags have that uh success with her design now i know the last one I talked about, the Barra, I was like, with that, you know, with the the pry bar cap lifter on it, you know, I give it a little bit of, I gave it a little bit of grief, which I did. I, I'm not going to lie. But, tell you what, if you saw the video I posted Wednesday, go, go watch that video. Because that, it's really easy to take off. And that was one of the things that was a big, big comment I had was that things, it'd be great if it wasn't on there. Well, people hadn't even seen it yet, so obviously. But I understand. And and once I got it in pocket, yes, I, I kind of agreed. But once that comes off, man, that is a sweet, sweet little slender EDC knife, without a doubt. Great bar knife, as it is, as it's built. Get the cap lifter off. Great little slender EDC knife. And you know what? This guy ended up being... A really, really nice EDC carry as well. Um, yeah, it's got a small blade on it. Guys, it's going to do, like I said, it's going to do 80 to 85% of your everyday task. Now, didn't work out as well on the rope for me. Uh, because, well, 
knives with big forward finger choils and short blades don't. It's, it's just not what it's made for. Uh, but, like I said, 80 to 85% of your EDC tasks, it's going to do them. Without, it, it'll cut a zip tie, it'll open a package, it'll cut a box. Yeah, it's going to do it for you, it's going to do it for you just fine. Something I wanted to point out, guys, is you're going to see a few more of these Rosecraft Blade uh, reviews coming up for me for sure. But my buddy Peter, a therapeutic edge, he's been doing Rose. This is basically Rosecraft Blades week for him over on his channel. So I tell you what, if you want to see some really, really good reviews on these various Rosecraft Blades, I forget which one uh, was today. Sorry, Peter. Um... But he's been doing them all week. Go get another opinion on them. I highly suggest you always do that. Don't just take one person's opinion. Um, I have a smaller hand than Peter does. So if he's done the pocket monster already, you can kind of get a perspective from someone that has a little bit larger hand. That's fantastic. So thank you guys so very much. Always appreciate you. Remember, like subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.